Hi, welcome to PM Tuning TV. <clears throat> Today we're going to look at uh, a 54 mil stroke uh, cylinder conversion. Uh, how we roughly go about uh, achieving those port timings, etc. Um, firstly, we'll look at the aluminium cylinder that we produce. Lots of meat around the cylinder base here, as you can see. This allows for good transfer uh, extension here, which allows good surface contact with the gasket without being too thin here when when bolted to the cases. Now. You can take advantage uh, of the extra material we introduced onto our new cylinders by taking the transfers right out and leaving approximately 4mm. And as we showed you on the last video, that can be extended using epoxy on tops of the crankcases. So that basically takes care of the transfer. Ideally, you want two and a half times the entry at the base to what you've got up at the top here into the port um, exits. Um, when we supply a 54mm stroke crankshaft, we generally supply a, a pack plate to allow you to pack the barrel up. That kind of, kind of keeps it nice and simple for most people to, to, uh, to bolt the cylinders on. The way we like to do it is we like to reduce the transfer heights because they do become a little bit too high in the duration. So what we do here is we, um, we allow the barrel to pop out of the cylinder um, and we use the, the, the baseline gasket which is 0.5 in this case. Now in order to, to run it that way, you can end up with a piston touching the cylinder head and you're also going to end up with too much compression. So the way we do it is we, uh, we machine down into the combustion chamber 1mm and we uh, re-machine the profile of the uh, squish, squish band in, in, in a manner that has a 1 degree in towards the bowl. That allows you to run on reasonable fuel here in the UK. Now to get back to the original compression ratio of a standard 52 stroke crank, what we do is we take the piston, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, we machine the dome off. Okay, so we take the dome off, that equates to about 3.28 cc's, which is roughly what that extra one millimetre is going to give you in terms of the extra height the piston is going to pop out of the cylinder. So you've got a combination of the flat top piston, the re-machined re uh, squish, squish area, to allow you to run that setup. Right, so what we do in this case, we use a signature series cylinder. We aim to get the transfer heights at about 128 degrees total duration. An exhaust port, you can see that, take that out to about 192. Now it's important that the shape's correct and you use the correct percentage in order to stop the rings dropping into the piston. That all comes with experience and it's all stuff you can pick up on the internet. Um, angles. Quickly, uh, we use 52 degrees at the back, 18 degrees closest to the exhaust port, and 12 degrees on the auxiliary, on the auxiliary port. We'll quickly show you now how to achieve those timings. Now, there's two ways to do that. One, you can do it mathematically. Here we have, for example, a 55 mil stroke data sheet, which shows you basically the heights. In term, this shows you the durations in terms of uh, heights measured from the top of the cylinder. You also need to calculate, obviously, the piston at top dead centre, which in this case is a millimetre further out than it normally would be. Okay, so another way to do it, and a, a nice way to achieve this, is so that you can um, check that all the ports are open nice and square, is to use a degree disc. And again, we use a flat top piston so you can get a good view of the ports opening. Uh, we stick the 0.5 base gasket on, which we've already calculated into this particular tube setup. Like that. Use a couple of old variator rollers. We have the nylon one, so it stops it damaging the top of the cylinder there. Okay, pop that on. Get that down tight. I'm just going to span it on that. Okay. Okay, this, this motor has already been preset at top dead centre. Again, you'd use a tile gauge with a with a bracket. Okay, so the way the to show with a degree disc is to find top dead centre. This has been previously set up with a TDC, TDC gauge, so we know that this is exactly uh, top dead centre. So first of all, we want to time the exhaust port because that's the first port that opens. Now you rotate the crankshaft in the direction that the engine is going to run. So we're sweeping through top dead centre after top dead centre going down and when we come to 84 degrees which is there that should be 192 exhaust duration 
and you should, if the camera can just spot that, you just see the exhaust port cracking open there. Okay. We carry on running round till we reach 64 degrees before bottom dead centre. 64 degrees before bottom dead centre, the camera can see that. Now that should be the start of the main and auxiliary ports opening together. Okay, um, the rear boost port we generally run about two degrees lower. So again, you travel around a little bit further down and then you'll see that open up. So that's, that's basically how you set the transfer and exhaust durations. Um, we're going to take this barrel off now and we're going to show you on the next video how to assemble the top end assembly onto a freshly built crankcase that we did earlier. Thank you.